Hello everyone and welcome, a happy Sunday to you all. Before we begin, I need to give a shout out to the latest members of my channel who are Red Diamonds and Biddle and Dimez Struggle for Healing. Thank you both for joining and supporting my cause. Today I want to talk about the double life of narcissists or narcissists and the double lives that they lead. I'm going to be sharing two main reasons why they do this and also some red flags you can look out for to determine if someone is living a double life. So stay with me until the end. Okay, narcissists live a double life in multiple ways, especially the covert narcissists as they pretend to be one person in public and another person in private. They are the heroes in public and the villains in private. But they also sometimes live a double life by having more than one romantic relationship, where for each person they are two different people because they live two different lives. And it's because narcissists love keeping secrets. It allows them to have an extra sense of control, knowing they know something you don't. The narcissist is always hiding something or someone. So it should be no surprise that narcissists are prone to be unfaithful to their partners. Because once the love bombing phase is over and the narcissist has secured their prize, it is time to find a fresh, new, interesting source of supply. One romantic source of supply is never enough for the narcissist, so they are always on the prowl looking for another, and they are very good at convincing each and every new supply that they are the one or the perfect fit that the narcissist has been searching for. I have two main reasons why narcissists end up with multiple partners which then leads to them living a double life where although they made you feel like you are their world, they actually have a few other worlds who can testify to the same thing. Okay, so the first reason a narcissist would live a double life is the simple fact that it allows them to get more narcissistic supply. Narcissistic supply is at the root of just about everything the narcissist does and they enjoy the challenge of making someone fall in love with them. It is a massive boost to their ego so they will always jump at the opportunity to charm, flirt and seduce. More partners mean more attention and more people to manipulate and control. With these multiple relationships, the narcissist is able to get both the positive and dark forms of narcissistic supply. For example, the narcissist will intentionally start arguments and incite drama to give them a reason to leave the house or disappear for a bit so they can go and spend time with the new supply. They continue to manage their multiple partners with these devaluation and love bombing cycles until they are ready to discard one of them. The second reason why narcissists end up with multiple partners is because they are greedy. Narcissists are never satisfied or content with what or who they have. They always feel they can do better, which is what confuses a lot of people because the narcissist would work hard to secure someone, doing everything to impress this person, giving up their time, energy and resources. But as soon as they have this person, exclusively to themselves, it is no longer as fun or exciting. The narcissist gets bored and now needs a new challenge. 
With narcissists, new becomes old very quickly. And why just have one partner or one family when they can have two or three or one in every city? The narcissist's greed and envy is what leads them to feel entitled to whatever and whoever they want. Living a double life can be stressful and it's one of the reasons narcissists are always on edge. They have so many secrets that they prefer to keep hidden because it makes them feel in control. The narcissist creates their own problems due to their blind, selfish desires, which on one hand feeds their ego, but on the other hand leaves them paranoid and fearful. Narcissists keep secrets that would expose their true identity and their lack of empathy. And the secret of having extra partners or love children scattered here and there is one of them. Basically, if you are in a relationship with the narcissist, don't ever think you are the only one. They are loyal to no one and love no one but themselves. And it is not your fault that they cheat, lie or live a double life. Narcissists are just selfish and greedy and care only for themselves. It's all about what they want and what they can get from the people around them. You could be loving them the best you can, giving them all you can, but guess what? It will never be enough. Your time, love and energy when poured into a narcissist is all in vain. So do not let them convince you otherwise. They will keep you as a tag along as long as they can. But as soon as you find out what they are up to and how they have been scheming and cheating behind your back, it is suddenly your fault. Being in a relationship with a narcissist who does not respect people or consider anyone's feelings is risky business. The narcissist would have sex with whoever they deem fit, putting your sexual health at risk. It is just not worth it. They are the type who would give you an STD as a result of them playing the field, but then accuse you of cheating and that you are the one who gave it to them. You just cannot make this stuff up. Narcissists are that twisted. But to conclude, living a double life allows the narcissist to live a life of mystery. It allows them to have secrets. It allows them to have multiple sources of supply and have control over numerous individuals. Narcissists engage in things to distract them from themselves and managing multiple relationships and living a double life is a good way to do that. Some blatant red flags that you can look out for to determine if someone you are with is living a double life are ghosting, where they disappear for days, weeks or months at a time. The second one is prolonged silent treatments where they are not talking to you as much anymore, where things they used to share with you, they don't share anymore. And they just have become a bit more closed off as they are always lost in thought. Also, if they are more critical and argumentative, that would also be another red flag, but also the occasional love bombing. So if they are going through a period where they are rapidly fluctuating between the devaluation and love bombing cycles, that is also a red flag. Never underestimate a narcissist. Stay safe, stay vigilant, and be sure to leave me a comment below.